This is Chai Charge, which we have already done. It tastes the same as last time. <laughs> okay, and 11. Ooh, 11 is a big skein. Cool. I'm wondering if they gave us a certain amount of big skeins because of the exact project they gave us. Probably. So this is similar to the other one we had. In fact, it might match exactly the other big skein we had. <laughs> it looks very similar. So maybe I'm supposed to use those in that pattern. So if we do the stripes, if we do the stripe blanket, I can make these in between everything along with the lavender. So we shall see how that goes. So welcome back to Vlogmas everyone. Um, I think I got mixed up on the days. I think I was supposed to film another advent for the last video. So we're going to have a lot of advent openings in this video, which is very cool. Hmm. So we have two full weeks left of the year. I'm not really going to count the last week of the year because of Christmas and everything else um, I plan on getting some stuff done but I don't know how much actual stuff I'm gonna get done um, so we've got two more three more bags we're gonna do the messenger bag this week so let's take a look at that so we have the so sweetness messenger bag I really liked this ever since it came out it is another zipper panel and gusset, but we will be brave. We will put the last bag out of our brain and be brave. So we've got our super unique Tula Pink fabric, which I ordered like the second it came out and I thought of this bag for it. So it is her line art, line work pattern. So basically, she has everything in this one. I think this was gonna be the lining. So it's kind of like a blueprint feel to it. And then we have the exterior, which can you see what that is? It's a skunk, it's so cute. <laughs> she calls it the little stinker. So the outside of my messenger bag is gonna be a skunk, which is super cute. And then we also have this stripe fabric, which I was going to use <clears throat> most likely for the gusset and the zipper panel and also the strap. I did find some webbing that was black and white like this, but I believe I might have even ordered two yards of this because I ordered another set of fabric um, from this collection for another bag and I wanted the stripes for that too. So, so we got plenty of stripes to work with. So I think I am gonna do the handles out of this because I have plenty of yardage to do the handles. I'm probably gonna wanna do the handles this way. So it's gonna be whoosh, taking up the fabric going that direction. And let's take a look at all three of them. 
next to each other. Yay, so that's what it's gonna look like. So very excited. I've had these fabrics set aside for a while and just kind of scared of making it because it's got a lot of components to it. We're gonna be using rainbow hardware and I have to see, I think I still have the black, I think I just reordered the black zipper with the rainbow. I hope I still have that. Because that's what I planned on using for this bag. Hmm. And then we have a super unique detail in here, which is we have this little grommet where you can feed like earphones through. Not that you really need that anymore because everybody's got earbuds. But, so we're going to use one of these. So that's going to be a new thing for this week. She's got a step-by-step -step tutorial video, so I'm going to start by watching that and then cutting out all the pieces and hopefully this goes pretty smoothly. Let's see if there's anything crazy to look out for. I think it's just going to be the gusset for me. Hopefully there's no... Yeah, she's got a mesh pocket, but I think I'm just going to do that out of regular fabric. I think we turn the whole bag through one of the pockets. We're also going to be doing some little things like this to put pencils in. So some channels on the inside there. So that's cool. And yeah, basically what we just did this last week with the gusset and the zipper panel. And there. I think that's it. We might take another trip to Trader Joe's, see what they have left as far as edible presents for people. I saw a few things like um, chocolate dipped pretzels, and the toffee's always a good treat idea, and just trying to think of some other edible presents that we can give to people. So, if any of that sounds interesting, please subscribe and come along for the journey. Go ahead and make yourselves a heartwarming cup of tea or coffee or hot cocoa. Curl up on the couch and let's start making this bag. Okay, as we have talked about many times before, um, so sweetness, besides having step-by-step -step video instructions for most of her patterns, also has cutting instructions inside the pattern so you never miss a, you know you never miss anything you need to cut so the zipper tab she does not have the zippers <laughs> here so I'm gonna add I'm gonna add the zippers in here because she has us cut it to a specific size she wrote this pattern I think before she started doing Zippers by the yard. So I'm just going to add this on here. Now she's got a mesh pocket going on here, and I don't want to do a mesh pocket. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to make my own pocket panel out of this. Um, so.
trying very carefully to keep the stripes lined up so that when we sew this, it will all be nice and aligned because anything I do here is just going to show. start with the strap here to have a win under our belts before we do anything else. Um, yeah, it's just after last week, I feel a little gun shy. So this is going to make me feel better. going to have this all put together before we start. And we just, when I ironed, I made sure to really carefully line up these stripes so that it looks all nice and polished. First win under our belts. It's very cool. It reminds me of was that Tim Burton that did the Dracula? You know the dress at the end of Dracula, the beautiful dress. That's what this reminds me of. Um, I think the stripes were a little different, but and was it the sandworm in Beetlejuice that was black and white, or was it his suit? Something was black and white in there. So it just reminds me of Tim Burton, I guess. So we're just going to set this aside as we make the rest of the bag and this will be ready to go when we're attaching it at the very end. So we've attached all the foam, and we're going to take our outside pocket piece, should be this one. That's going to be the hardest part about this bag, is just keeping all the pieces, all the pieces figured out. So we're going to take our pocket. You'll see some of the animals are upside down here, so I'm just gonna go with the zebras and make sure the zebras are in the right place. Okay, so 
just like any other zipper pocket except we have foam back there. So you have to make sure we're getting through all the layers. And then unlike last week's bag where we had already had a hole there to keep the bulk out of the zipper seam, we're now going to have to do that ourselves. So I'm going to get as close as I can without cutting the stitches. And then we're going to cut through all those layers. And then just like last week, I have to make sure that I don't iron it from this side or from the back side because of the foam. Okay, so what she's saying you can do here if you want to reduce this bulk is that you can cut the foam out of this without cutting. You don't want to cut your lining piece. You just want to cut that. So it's a little hard to do if you have those duck scissors. It's a little easier, and if you just want to skip this and just iron the heck out of it to get it flat, that's perfectly okay too. This just kind of is going to make everything lay a little bit nicer. So I think it's worth taking a little extra time to get in here and do this. And since I'm not doing the mesh pocket, I'm basically going to do the same thing on the inside as well. That's what our pocket's looking like. It's supposed to be able to hold pens here. That's good. So anything with the clip is really, really good. That's cool. I did go ahead and stitch the bottom. That's optional. But if you don't have a pen with the clip, then you kind of need that. Let's keep banging into you. Okay, so I think that is all of the pockets done. Oh, we have to add our little D-ring in here for keys. Okay, so this is really the only weird part of this whole thing, is that we're gonna sew this to the zipper here and to the exterior, but we're not going to sew it to the interior. Uh, to the lining piece, we're going to sew the lining piece independently 
on this side so that these two pieces are separate, if that makes sense. Can you see that? So that's the only bizarre part of this pattern. Other than that, everything else seems pretty straightforward. Boy, there's like so many ways to mess this up. So I guess just pay attention, pay attention, be present, and piece it all together. It's hard because you have two layers of foam. <sighs> Wish me luck. better than expected. The stiletto definitely helps if you don't know about the stiletto. This is a by Annie stiletto and very helpful tool although I think it's more helpful if you're right-handed than left-handed. <laughs> Just the area where the zipper is. Okay, so she doesn't want us to top stitch this at all. We're just top stitching here where the pocket comes together. So that's interesting. Um, so we don't need to top stitch, so that's good. The next thing we're going to do is to put the grommet in on the front pocket. So that's going to be this pocket. Let's do that and then, then we will take a break. Okay, so we've got our grommet here. My grommet is the kind that screws together. There's also kinds that you can install with your rivet press. And we finally get to use our screwdriver set. <laughs> I haven't used this since I got it. Okay, so we have teeny teeny screws. Those are all flat heads. So we're going to get our Phillips. I don't know which one we need here. That's a flathead too. Why are they all flatheads? Alright, that one's a Phillips. Okay, that will work great. So we'll use that one. So, we need to dig out a hole. We haven't done one of these for a while. This is like the um, like the turn lock that we did. It's the same concept here. So we're gonna have one piece on the outside and one piece on the inside. We're gonna have the pretty piece on the outside. So be uh, one and a half inches from the left hand edge and one and a half inches from the right hand edge. Okay. So. One and a half and one and a half. That doesn't seem very far down, does it? That's the center? That seems, I'm gonna do it 
I'm going to do that as the edge. I feel like that's a little too a little too far to be the center. I'm going to do it that way. Okay, so we're going to cut out. We got to cut through the foam too. And start smaller. You can always make a hole bigger, but you can't make a big hole smaller. So we're just going to go inside that line for right now. Cut that out. And still need a little bit more. It's got to have something to dig into, but basically I want this whole thing to fit to fit in there and it's not. So cut a little bit more away. So that's what it's gonna look like, very cool. So yeah, let's go ahead and glue it in. And I got my Beacon 3-in-1 glue. Just put a little glue in the holes. steep for a while it's nowhere near ready uh, so had a Christmas party today and got to wear my scarf I think it's a little bit long so I might uh, frog it back to the last the last set of red and call it a day there it's just a little too long for me <laughs> but working on the hat so I hope to have that done soon and just finishing up the last work week of the year. It sounds crazy, but it's true. Okay, and we have our advent calendar. Find number 14. It's right there. So we had a brownish orange yesterday. What's today? Ooh, another brown. Very pretty. Ooh, with some like yellow in there. That's very nice. I also treated myself to a JoJo's assortment pack. Look at that, look at that design. I bought it for the design really, but just wanted a nice little sweet treat. So they're kind of like chocolate covered Oreos, but there is, let's see, there's the peppermint one, double chocolate, peanut butter, and vanilla ginger. I've not tried the van vanilla ginger yet. So we've made a good start on our messenger bag, which is looking smaller than what I think of as a messenger bag is more of like a tote bag size. So um, I'm kind of like, this is a lot of work for a little, like a mini messenger bag. <laughs> but we'll see what happens. So I'll finish up the messenger bag next video. And then we really just have one more bag. I'm gonna sneak the coin person because I have two weeks off, uh, but and I think it will be a nice palette cleanser from these more complicated bags. And then we just have the backpack to go. So it's like a mini backpack purse. And we'll see how that goes. There might be a lot of swearing involved. But we'll see. 
I did not get the water hot enough, so it's not really steeping, but it's green tea, so not my favorite anyway. And then our cup today is Santa Paws is coming to town. Super cute. Um, I got this, I think it's Lennox. I got it at like a Macy's after Christmas, like deep discount. Uh, and it was just so cute and a cute little curly Q handle. It's actually a really good size and a really, a really nice heavy duty mug. So one more day of work <laughs> before we're done. So by the time you watch this, I will be in vacay mode. I'm going to be in my PJs and sleeping in every morning and sitting and watching my other YouTubers do Vlogmas in my PJs with my coffee curled up under my blanket on the couch. <laughs> I hope that you have some time off coming up and if you don't and if you're especially if you're in retail, God bless you <laughs> and sending you all my love and compassion and patience during this crazy time of year and while you're out there if you're shopping grocery shopping anything just remember to say an extra kind word give an extra smile to all those worker bees who are helping you out during the holidays because they have a rough time of it during this time of year so just send them a little extra love and smiles as you go about your errands would appreciate it Okay, so that's it for this episode. Hope to see you back here on Tuesday for the next video. And the video after that, my sister and I are making a special trip to Rogers Gardens. I haven't been there before. I don't know if she has. Um, a friend of mine who I sang with in the choir actually works there and she does all the visual design and setups for everything. And it's got this beautiful Christmassy marketplace. So we'll take you on a tour of that. So hope to see you next week for that, and I hope you have a wonderful week ahead. Love you, friends. Bye. Bye.